Okay, another dream I had it was actually a continuation of the first dream where there was a guy in a bug out vehicle, like in a, like a truck with his son, and they were driving up into the woods to, to bug out. They had their truck full of the gear that they need. They were ready, and then they got into a traffic jam up there in the woods, up in... The, on a single track rocky road out in the middle of nowhere because everybody from the whole city was bugging out to the same location. So let me give you good advice. If you're going to bug out, you need to park somewhere and pack. <laughs> pack. <laughs> if you Just saying. <laughs> Hello? Everybody, if everybody in Los Angeles decides to bug out, and they all go to Bear Mountain or Big Bear or Baldy or whatever it is. Arrowhead. <laughs> all you did is move the population from the basin to the mountain. There's still going to be millions of people bugging out to the same place. <laughs> so the second dream I had was a similar scenario. There was a guy in a truck with his son, but I, in the dream, I think he had his whole family. There was a, there was a wife and kids in the back seat, and they got stuck at a like in a traffic jam. But they were in the city, and it was a traffic jam. Everybody's fleeing the city. Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, you know, Seattle, Denver. Everybody's trying to escape the city on this particular day, during this particular hour, whatever it is. In the dream, like, all of a sudden, since there was such chaos going on, there, I, I remember in the dream, I just knew intuitively that there was riots going on. And here's this guy, he's all prepared. He's as prepared as anybody could possibly be. He's got his truck. It's full of, you know, all the stuff he needs to survive. He's got his wife and kids with him. They're heading out to the hills. They already have a location planned out where they're going to go hide out. They even might even have a cabin up there. It's already pre-stocked with everything they need. And now here they are stuck in a traffic jam and can't go anywhere. How's that for being prepared? Now they're sitting there using gas up, all their fuel just sitting there idling. And right about then, a bunch of literally like teenage kids come running up, like really young looking guys. And they just like somehow broke into the car door, opened the door, jumped in the truck with the family. And one of them had a gun and the other two... the truck was parked like couldn't go anywhere and these guys just show up with a gun and jump in there in the car and pull the gun on them and basically these guys were like rioting and looting and they decided we're gonna loot this truck right here and I remember in the dream like the dad had a gun on him like somebody in the car also had a gun but in order to get to it, he's going to have to reach in his pocket, and, you know. And so this kid, I remember this kid had like tattoos on him. He looked like a little thug, but he was young, you know. It wasn't like some old, gritty old man. It was like a young street punk, you know. And a group of, it was, I saw one of them really clearly. He had all these tattoos, even on his face, he had some tattoos. And the other ones looked like they were just a bunch of buddies who were like, Hey, let's go out and have some fun now. I got a gun. All right, yeah, let's go. You know, when all hell is breaking loose, all hell breaks loose even more. And there was riots going on, and all the good, hardworking Americans who were trying to bug out were stuck. <laughs> anyway, that was the other dream. <laughs>